Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word Is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay, people, big shout out to the sub Kyle Mack Jr. for inspiring this video here. And this is about a brother from Georgia by the name of Maceo Snipes. Maceo Snipes, black man living in Macon, Georgia. Okay, he went into the Army in the year of 1943. He was drafted into the Army. He served over two years in the Army, fought in World War II. So the brother Maceo Snipes, he comes home from the war. He's ready to live his life. He's about 37 years of age at the time. And he's working to get the family's farm back in order to how it needs to be. And like a lot of the brothers who returned back from the war, he had a new sense of pride. Um, a lot of them thought that things would change. He figured, you know, we did something for this country. Let, uh, you know, give us some uh, respect our humanity. We just want to live like regular people. Uh, and that's what Maceo uh, Snipes, he was one of these people. He lived in Taylor County, Georgia, people. This is in Taylor County, okay? And at this time that Maceo Snipes came back from the war, a federal court had just decided that, or the white officials in his county, which is Taylor County, Georgia, they decided, a federal court decided that the white officials could not stop black people from voting in the upcoming Democratic primary. So that's what was going on at that time. Maceo Snipes is 37 years of age. So Maceo Snipes, being a man who fought in the war, he figured, well, it's my time. I'm going to vote. And the white folks in his county, they were mad about the federal order, okay? Why were they mad? Because they knew that black people would vote against the religion of white supremacy or they would vote for what they thought would be in favor of black people or to have a better life for black people. So, of course... These white people in this county are pissed off at this federal order that couldn't stop black people from voting. Just look at how messed up we are now, people, though. It's crazy. We now vote because people told us that our ancestors died for us to vote. And then we go f vote for a person who would have killed our ancestors at the time. Deep, deep. Anyway, the brother Maceo Snipe said, I'm going to vote. He's going to do the right thing. And he was threatened and he was told that he shouldn't do this. You shouldn't vote, man. He was told not to do so. And the white community at this time in this area, Macon, Georgia, was also saying that something to the effect of the first Negro that votes, that'll be the last thing he ever does. You know, doing these old white supremacist cracker slogans, you know, spreading their evil, saying things like that. But Maceo Snipes, he ignored all that. He was going to vote, and he did just that on July 17th of the year 1946. And he was the only black person in Taylor County to vote. Maceo Snipes, he went to vote, walked in, walked out, no problem. For a day or two, nothing happened. Then one night, when Maceo Snipes and his mother were sitting down to have dinner, a white dude that Maceo Snipes knew knocked on the door and asked for Maceo to come outside. This was a fellow so-called war comrade. Maceo Snipes knew him, white guy. So he went outside. So Maceo Snipes went outside. And when he went outside with this white dude, there were three other white men there. And all he hear is click, click. And it was a firing squad. They laid Maceo out, shot him up, shot him up. Maceo Snipes' mother heard the noise. She gets out to go out there. She gets up, goes out there to check on her son, to see what's going on with her son. She helps him get up, and they walk miles to get a ride to the hospital. They walk miles with him with these bullet holes and him leaking. They walk miles to get a ride to the hospital, but they finally did get to the hospital. And when they got to the hospital, they waited for six hours in a room that was no bigger than a closet for Maceo Snipes to be seen. So imagine walking mile upon mile to get to the hospital, bullet holes in you, and when you get there, they make you wait in a room the size of a closet for another six hours to be seen. 
And when he was finally seen, these doctors were able to remove the bullets from his body. But Maceo Snipes needed a blood transfusion, people. He needed a blood transfusion, although they got these bullets out of him. But the hospital said, no, we can't do that because we are all out of black blood. Yes, people, the blood at the hospital was segregated as well. Blood was segregated. This blood is for black people. This blood is for white people. And who knows the entire story behind that? You know, who knows if they were just stealing black people's blood and telling the white people, no, this is white blood. Because, you know, back then you would think at that time there were white people coming in, you know, say, oh, it better not be no black blood, even though it was prop. You know, y'all know how it goes. Who knows what the hospital was doing? So due to the fact that Maceo Snipes couldn't get this blood transfusion, he died on July of July 20th of that year. He passed away on July 20th, not shortly after that. Then the white community put out another message after Maceo Snipes died. They said that anybody who shows up to Maceo Snipes' funeral will be killed as well. But Maceo Snipes, his mother and his wife and uh, his child, they did, and a few other people, they did show up to his funeral. But within days, Maceo Snipes' family was terrified and they moved to Ohio. Other black people in this town were scared as well. They scattered and they got out of Macon as well. They left Ohio. They left and go to different places. I don't know where they all went, but Maceo Snipes' family went to Ohio. Okay? Now, people, again, Maceo Snipes, he was called outside by a dude that he knew, white dude. It was a white veteran named Edward Williamson, white dude that he knew from the war. This guy, Edward Williamson, is the one who showed up to the house and called him out, you know, and Maceo Snipes was able to tell the police and his mother who did it before he died. So before he died, he told his mother and the police, look, it was white man Edward Williamson. So they called this dude Edward Williamson. He has to go to trial for what he did. Um, Maceo Snipes' mother actually did testify as well, but the jury in this white community said, no, it was self-defense. No charges are filed. They called it self-defense, people. This is how disgusting these people are acting, okay? It's over just like that. This man was called outside and he was hit by a white firing squad and the white community and the judge said, well, it was self-defense. And people, this was in the 40s, not that long ago. Not that long ago at all, people, you know? Not that long ago at all. This stuff is still going on. You just change forms. And you know, people still, they're still trying to bamboos other black folks by using the Maceo Snipes story and other people like Maceo Snipes. Uh, Snipes. This is one of those stories that they use to encourage black people to go violently, uh, to go blindly vote for white supremacists, liberals. It's usually liberals. This is the party that black people support. Black people have supported the Democrat Party for how many years? More black people are now going over to the Republican Party, who never needed black people. But black people have supported the Democrat Party for many years and have never gotten nothing in return. And they will use stories like what happened to Maceo Snipes to encourage black people to vote. No respect at all. They learn it from white people. White folks tell them to go do it. And they have their coconuts and their shine bones in the community who go do this. You know, that's what they do. They take these stories and use them on confused, indoctrinated, uninformed black folks who are usually dealing with an inferiority complex anyway. They don't know anything about their history due to the education from public school and the Department of Education and never looking anything anywhere past that in life. And they use this, the white supremacist liberals use this to go tell black people stories like Maceo Spikes to go vote for racist Democrats, okay? That's what it is. And um, they'll say our people died for our right to vote. Not at all. Our people died simply because we are black. They don't give the entire story. OK, and that's just how it goes down. Um, well, people. Big shout out to the brother Maceo Snipes for standing up. Uh, big shout out to him and his family. You know, he did this at a time where Maceo Snipes was a man who went out to vote for something that was important to improve the quality of life for his people. We are totally different Negro bots now. The mindset is not the same. We cannot stand in the room with Maceo Snipes or any of these other black people. 
you know, who we often laugh at. People often laugh at and talk down on black folks, you know, who went to vote, you know, and got beat up and beat in the head. OK, some of it looked bad at some point. It did look bad when, you know, they would continue to do things like march and sing and get milkshakes thrown on their head and bitten by dogs and white people spitting in their food and they just sitting there singing. It got to a point where it was ridiculous. OK, but you got to remember, too, there was a time when black people were saying, you know what? We're going to go vote to improve the quality of life of our people, and that's it. And that's what Maceo Snipes was doing. And that's what those people were doing at this point, at that point in time. Now, it's totally different. We have, we are uh, infected with Negro bots who have a sickness of the heart who will just vote just to say, I went and voted because this celebrity told me to vote, this Negro shine bone told me to vote. This white supremacist, I like him. I'm going to go vote and get absolutely nothing in return. But condolences to the family of Maceo Snipes, wherever they are, wherever they be in Ohio or in that area, wherever they may be. Condolences to you and big shout out to the brother Maceo Snipes. Easy.